Listen, everybody, to the word I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it number one today Israel to bring Ethiopian Jews home by 2014. According to the Associated Press, Israel's cabinet has approved plans to bring in the last of Ethiopia's Jews over the next two years. More than 120,000 Ethiopian Jews live in Israel after waves of immigration over the past three decades. Advocates say some 2,200 Jews remain in Ethiopia. The Ethiopians are members of a community that converted to Christianity under duress more than a century ago, but have now reverted back to Judaism. Second today, Kenyan Christians pray for end to targeted attacks. According to Reuters, Kenyan Christians fear they are being targeted by militant Islamists, but vowed on Sunday to respond through prayers, not violence. Mombasa, Garissa, and towns along the border with Somalia have been subjected to a wave of violence since Kenya sent troops into war-ruined neighbors country to help crush Al-Qaeda linked rebels. Uh, past, Pastor Anthony Maramba told his congregation, we will go down on our knees and cry to our Father in heaven for no weapon hurled against the righteous shall prosper. Third today, Iran plans to expand, not suspend, its nuclear program. According to the Times of Israel, a position paper understood to have been used by Iran's negotiators at last week's talks in Istanbul makes plain the Tehran regime's unyielding rejection of international efforts to negotiate safeguards and restrictions that would prevent Iran from attaining nuclear weapons capabilities. Far from indicating Iran's readiness to scale back its nuclear program, the document specified the creation of backup facilities, four more research reactors, and plans to sell fuel complexes to other countries. Now ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy related news at Second Coming Herald as H E R A L D Herald dot com. In closing, before I go, allow me to share this with you. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now, dear friend, if you are not ready, please get ready. And here's how. Please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please understand also that because of your sins, your evil, 
you deserve everlasting punishment in a place called hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. Now that is the bad news. Here is the good news. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, his name is Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, perish where? In hell, but have everlasting life in heaven with God. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, a dear friend, for your soul's salvation right now, please pray with me this simple prayer. Don't hesitate. Mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done many bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Amen. Now, before I go, let me say this. If you just prayed that prayer in sincerity, allow me to be the first to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to save your soul from hell. Now, let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.